noticed that there is a growing market for complete mesh-based avatars. Some creators provide special development kits which also include mesh template files. This allows third-party mesh makers to create custom attachments for these characters. In this tip top tool tip, I will explain how to integrate those mesh templates with a few clicks into Avastar. Step 1, load the blend file that contains the template mesh. I assume that this mesh is rigged to Second Life's default fitted mesh skeleton, but note that we also accept rigs from the Avatar Workbench, or the Avatar.Blend rig, actually anything should work here, as long as it complies to the Second Life skeleton. Step 2, select your rig in object mode. Then open the tool shelf, go to the Avastar tab, and locate the Avastar tools panel. Step 3, in the transfer tool panel you find a conversion button, and two options. The conversion tool converts your rig and all attached meshes into a fresh Avastar rig. The first parameter, dummy, controls how the Avastar meshes are handled in the new rig. In most cases you will want to hide the Avastar meshes here. You might want to also set the second option, transfer joints. This ensures that the Avastar rig uses exactly the same bone settings as the original rig. When you are finished with the settings, then you only need to click on the convert button. And after a few seconds you get the ready-made Avastar rig with the template mesh attached. Step 4, now you can create your mesh attachment, like a shoe for example. Note that you now can use all available Avastar tools as usual. This includes the weight tools, and the Avastar shape sliders for controlling how your mesh reacts to the appearance sliders in Second Life. In this demo I just load a pair of already made sandals and then bind the shoes to the Avastar, by using the weights as provided from the template mesh. Step 5, finally just export your mesh as usual. When you import your mesh to Second Life, then you normally only need to check the option, Include Skin Weights. In most cases you do not need to include joint positions. Once you have imported your mesh to Second Life, just wear it together with your mesh character and enjoy your custom attachment. Have a nice day, and have a lot of fun with Avastar.